how to prepare for your first interview to get into private equity, either as an associate or investment manager. Having worked with private equity firms across Europe and North America, unfortunately, I regularly get the feedback when they're interviewing people from management consulting, investment banking, corporate finance, etc. from there, that when the candidates go through to interview, they are the clients are disappointed, then the candidates are not as well prepared as they should be, and they've let themselves down through simple things. It's not their education, it's not their qualifications, it isn't their experience, it is how they prepare for the interview. It makes such a massive, massive difference. Now, depending on your location, um, whether it be the US, which is mainly associate uh, Europe, which tends to use the investment manager title, but a lot of people from those sectors find that the private equity space is the golden ticket. From coming from investment banking, management consulting, where you're seeing part of a process of a business, either acquisition or sell or growth, then you, within private equity, you get to see the full gambit. So you're working both on a acquisition process, due diligence process, right through to completion, then through to helping and supporting that company with its growth and development and changes and challenges that it faces, right through to then, hopefully, a really successful exit. Not only does it give you that opportunity, but it also gives you the opportunity to work with some of the most impressive investors uh, in, on the planet. America and, uh, and Europe tend to be, or should I say North America, let's not forget Cana um, our Canadian friends. So North America and Europe are prolific with regards to private equity investment. Obviously, there's emerging markets, Asia's starting to come up, et cetera, from there. But with regards to the hubs, you know, mainly sitting around California, New York, London, Munich, uh, Paris, have got significant experienced investors within private equity and some of the best private equity and investment professionals in the world. And your opportunity to learn from these individuals when you get into private equity, alongside everything else that comes with it, obviously the opportunity to, to, uh, to participate in the carry of a, of a firm and clearly the opportunity to invest and work with some fantastic businesses and obviously some of the best uh, C-suite executives in the business that grow businesses not in 15, 20 year timescales, they grow them in five, three to six year timescales and, uh, and put some significant growth and value into, into businesses. That's why, but how do you come up with and beat the competition for your interview and make sure that it's you getting the offer and not one of your competitors? Before we hear, oh, well, it's only people that come from top three, it's only people that are in um, McKinsey, Bain, whatever else from there, JP Morgan on the investment banking side, it's not the case that only they get into private equity. It can be with some of the, what you got as premier firms, if you regard it as that, for some of the more mid, mid to large cap type firms that hire from that space, but there's plenty of small cap and mid cap and even large cap firms that don't hire just from the top three investment banking, top three management consulting. So that isn't an, an adequate perspective of I can't get into private equity because I haven't worked at these firms or I haven't got exactly the top grades I need. You don't need that. You can get into private equity via other, um, other avenues. But no matter what your firm that you're going to speak to, no matter where it is in the world, there is one thing that needs to happen and that means you need to prepare. Candidates fail at this level because they do not prepare well enough for their interview. So number one of your preparation is quite a simple one, but it's to research the firm. Review the app about us page, Review the company page and, of course, review the strategy of the firm. Most of them have will have an investment strategy, investment thesis, how we work. Make sure you are very clear on the types of deals that they look for, the types of investments that they make, and that you are really clear on that. Next thing is to review the team page and review the partners and the other members in the team. Look at the people that are coming, you're gonna come in at the same level as, so that are associates now, investment managers now, and then also review in detail, please, the interviewer that you're interviewing with, of course, look at their background, go on their LinkedIn, 
do due diligence, Google their name, Google their their name and the firm that they work for and really look into the types of deals that they've done. Have a look at the partners, the managing partners, what's their background, where have they come from, who did they work for before they set up the firm, if they're the founder, who did they work for previously and have this in. If you're the kind of person that's going to forget this information, write it down, take it on a notepad, take it into the meeting with you. A private equity investor would not sit down at a, an investment meeting and not have notes with them that the questions that they want to ask or information that they're going to want to jot down during that conversation. So feel free to do exactly the same. It will only go in your favor. So number two is to research the portfolio. So review the current portfolio that they have. Look at the types of investments that they've done. They may have a broad strategy, but do they tend to invest in a certain sector more than others? Do they intend to invest in a certain check size or a certain revenue size? Or is, it, is there lots of information on there? Does it tell you that the majority of them are, are management buyouts, maybe management buy-ins? Have a good detailed look into what their portfolio is and choose one or two and go hunting for information. Go on to Crunchbase, go on to uh, Google and do searches. Have a look into that business, Have read up on the acquisition, read up on the details. It will stand you in huge amount of stead. Um, of what that business was. Have a look at, if you can, look at the financials of the company. If obviously in the UK, you can look at company's house. If you're abroad, I'm sure there's equivalents that you can find that information. And, and take, take a detailed look, take those notes. It might be that in the first interview, this doesn't even come up. But if you can talk about some of this, I was looking at this company, I saw that it was at this revenue. Where are you guys getting it to now? What's your plans with this business? What's your plans with this organization? Now, questions will come um, as, a, as a further point that I, I want you to prepare as the next point, but prepare in detail about the portfolio company. This is the number one area where I find that candidates fall up in this interview process, at associate investment manager, because they do not review the portfolio and they have not done the research on the firm or the portfolio companies. So please make sure that you do that. So as I said earlier, number three is preparing questions. So questions such as, I've seen that you invest in XYZ. Why did you think that those companies chose to sell to you and not sell to one of your competitors? It's a better question than what makes you different. It separates it a little bit. It's a, it gets them thinking a little bit more. Why did the current companies that you've acquired, why did they sell to you? Another link question to that is, how are you differentiating in a very competitive private equity market? Good question, because it only realizes that you understand the current you know, state of the, the marketplace, but also you understand that it's highly competitive and you want to get to see what their edge is. And this is you firing questions at them. Interviews go both ways. They ask questions to you, you ask questions of them. So what advice would you give to someone like me to hit the ground running in your private equity firm? So it's like basically them giving you the key to unlock what information they would need. And you can then use that to obviously sell yourself. Delving more into the firm, what are the biggest challenges that your firm faces now? And what will the biggest challenges be in the next three years? What are the ambitions of the firm? Where does the firm want to be in the next three to five years? A really great question. Of all the associates or investment managers that you've hired into the firm, the most successful one, what was it that made them the successful hire? What did they do when they joined the business? Ask loads and loads of questions. Think about the kind of questions that's important to you. Think about culture. Think about what you want from your career. Think about progression. Think about development. Think about training. And then think outside the box with regards to those questions. Don't just, oh, what, what's, where, do you, where do you see me in three to five years? Think differently. Ask intelligent and probing questions. Put your interviewer under pressure a little bit so that they're having to think and they will be impressed because they're thinking of you when you're sat on the other side of the table and you're speaking with a portfolio company. How good are your questions? How good is your curiosity? How good are you at finding out information? Because that is basically, as an associate investment manager, your role is to find information and understand potential opportunities, but also potential pitfalls. It's a key area that you need to work on 100% for this interview process. So number four is preparing for case studies. If you're in management consulting, you are not gonna have done as many LBO modeling cases as somebody in investment banking, but you're obviously gonna be better at the growth strategy and the portfolio work than somebody potentially in investment banking. It surprises me how many people fall down here. Obviously, if you're not doing them day in, day out, it can be difficult, but it's the amount of people that don't practice them, that don't go online, that don't look at LBO modeling uh, cases and start to review them and start to practice. If you want to get into private equity and you're serious, start doing that. 
And even when you're having the conversation at interview, you can already tell them that, look, I've been looking at this to, to brush up on this. I've been looking at that. And then if it doesn't come out 100%, at least they, they, you're demonstrating that you want to learn and you're wanting to develop yourself. And it's a key way of demonstrating that, even if you don't come out on top. But make sure you do come out on top. Do the practice, review it, look at the pitfalls, look online. We have the beauty of the internet. Use it and also use the people that you know that are in private equity, any of your old colleagues, contacts, anybody you know in PE. Speak to them and ask them what, they should, what you should be preparing for that LBO modeling test. So that's my top four numbers. Obviously, you can ask a lot more questions. You can go into a lot more detail here, but this is kind of a quick overview or quick as I can get it down to overview. I love it when candidates interview with, with me and they have a list of questions prepared and they pull out a notepad. That's brilliant. I think it's great that you've done that preparation and research. Again, think if you were going into a meeting with a portfolio company or potential portfolio company, um, you would have prepared questions. You'll have done your research. Make sure you do the same. It will really impress them. Notepad, load of questions and make sure you're ticking them off and firing them at them and really work on those questions because we are measured on the questions we ask, not so much on the answers that we give. So that's all the benefit to you, but also to the benefit to, to you getting the role. But there's a huge benefit to you doing this research, doing these questions. You gotta find out if this is the private equity firm for you. There's a lot of private equity firms. There's it's hugely competitive. There's a lot of opportunity. Make sure you're stepping into the right firm and the right business. Do your research first, do your preparation, find the right organization to work for. If there's a load of red flags come out, then you know that you're not going to want to uh, progress with this business, or maybe it gives you the incentivization to really go at this because this looks like an amazing firm and you found some amazing things about them. So if you are looking to get into private equity, maybe you're having conversations at the moment, maybe this is your preparation for a year down the line, I don't know. We specialize in working with private equity firms across Europe and North America. If you are looking to get into private equity, I would love to have a conversation with you and a discussion and see how we can help you make that first step. We work with firms, we're based in the UK, but we work with firms all across Europe and all across North America. So I'd be delighted to support you. If I don't hear from you, obviously all the very best of luck with your interview. I hope you absolutely prepare. I hope you absolutely nail it. And welcome to the private equity industry. It's the most phenomenal industry that I've ever worked in. Thank you very much for your time. And I really hope this helps with your private equity interview. All the best with your future in private equity.